it's Maddie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And you're probably noticing I'm not in my usual boring reddish toned background, but I am in my living room surrounded by Christmas stuff. So I hope this background isn't too busy, but right now I needed some place with a little more lighting and maybe a little more space to deal with things. That is a couch over there. Um, but this is probably the next best spot in my house to film. So Hopefully everything works out. You all probably recognize that no matter what videos I do, I sit on the floor. It's just more comfortable for me to sit pretzel legged and do things like that. Um, so I am doing a video today on something that I thought, why don't I do this? Because I got this package in the mail. This is something that I've been wanting for a long time. This is a non-diabetes related video. But if you all know me or have known me for a while, you know I'm a hygienist. I'm a dental hygienist. I've been practicing for... Uh, about five months, but working in like the dental world for about six ish at my place of uh, place of work or my office, and I love Dental Hy Hygiene Nation. It is a really cool website for a lot of dental apparel, a lot of really awesome dental related articles. I actually have a couple pairs of their scrubs because it was part of our office's color scheme, and they're super comfortable. And I wanted to put myself on this waiting list for their subscription box. And I am super duper excited to finally have been chosen to be on this for a whole entire year. So you pay $30 and uh, four times a year, so quarterly, you will get sent a little package of different things um, that are kind of geared towards the season. So this should be their winter box. If it's not, um, then they're maybe sending me the box prior from July to try to like, maybe I was supposed to be registered earlier and didn't get it, but I doubt it because it's. I think they're shipped quarterly, like March, June, September, December, kind of like when the season switch. So this should be the winter box and it's called DHN or Dental Hygiene Nation's 4910 box. If you don't know what D4910 is, it is the reference code or the dental insurance code for periodontal maintenance patients. Those are patients we see every three to four months for cleanings because they have either deep periodontal pockets, meaning their gum tissue is kind of pulling away from their teeth, or they have severe periodontal disease, meaning that the bone around their teeth is pretty much starting to go. And when we have bone loss, it's starting to go around the teeth. We want to keep an eye on that much more frequently. So we typically will see them for cleanings and kind of get down in those deeper pockets as best as we can on a more regular basis. Um, typical cleanings for patients that don't have active periodontal disease um, are called regular prophys or prophylaxis. That's just a big old fancy term for a dental cleaning every six months. Um, but a D4910 is your periodontal maintenance patients that are seen every three to four months. And what's super cool is because I've been practicing for pretty much that exact time frame, I'm now starting to see a lot of repeat patients that are even starting to be six month recalls at this point. So it's kind of cool to like, um, as some of my periodontal maintenance patients that I'm seeing on a regular basis, I've seen a couple of times already just because of everything, how it's cycled through. So anyways, I have not opened this box yet. I'm super excited to do it. And it, again, the packaging is super adorable. It has like dental theme stuff. It says toothy. Um, this one says, say ah. Um, and then it, of course it says dental hygiene nation here. This one says, um, save smiles often and slay decay today. I actually really like that one. Uh, and of course this one also says, I can't read it very well. Go to the dentist. I know it's kind of on a white sheet. I don't know if you guys can see it. There you go. It says go to the dentist. And then this one says, I really like teeth, which I mean, it's the truth, right? The only thing that's fooling me that if this is a winter box is it's very much like a summery themed, rainbowy kind of warmer weather kind of thing. So um, hopefully I'll be able to open it and not have things slip out of my hands because I just put lotion on my hands. It is the season for super dry weather um, in the state of Wisconsin. So I thought I would open this box for you guys in front of you and show you what's in here. Um, so yeah, super exciting things and I'm super excited. I got this for myself for Christmas. Again, it's like a $30 subscription that will charge to your card four times a year. So it's $120 a year, but I've really been wanting to be on this. I've been on the list, I want to say at least nine months. Um, I think they have that much of a demand for it, but I'm super excited to at least have this for a good year, if not more, if they allow people to stay on that cycle. And I think they've been doing the subscription thing for approximately... A couple of years. I know I think they started it when I started dental hygiene school in 2019. It's now 2021. Um, so anyways, I will delve right into what is in this box and I can't wait to show you and I can't wait to show you more aspects of my life regarding dental. So anyways, we'll jump right into the unboxing. By the way, this necklace I have is from a different website called Tooth Life. I'll try to remember to link the website down below. They have some really cute things. I bought this 
right after I graduated because they were having a sale and I think this tooth necklace was like $25 and I got it for like $8 so woohoo for that but anyways I'm gonna attempt to open this up my address is facing this side so if it kind of looks awkward as I'm opening this and showing you things um, please be considered that I don't want my whole entire address shown to the world um, unless y'all want to send me a nice Christmas card I'd appreciate it and not stalk me but anyways I'm gonna attempt to open this box and not ruin it so I think I was actually able to get it yay oh cute so it says dentalhygienation.com and it's the another thing it says here to put brush two times that's cute oh so then you open it which is super cool they have like a little tissue paper so you can kind of unveil what's inside Ooh, there's some super cute things so this is a shine bright package and they always include like a little like thing in here kind of like what it's about and it says shine bright it's easy to become overwhelmed dental babe so they call us dental people dental babes apparently especially during the holiday season and into the new year we've been programmed to believe that the holiday should be a cheerful should be cheerful and the new year should be a fresh start but sometimes you need a little bit of push to get there and that's okay this box is bold and bright that that kind of explains the color because it kind of threw me off for a second i'm like is this a winter theme box or not it's here to remind you that you too are bold and bright even on your most stressful days um so then it shows you the six little items that are in here and kind of the prices of each thing so I'll kind of go down the list and read them quick. So there's an air freshener set, a mouthy wine charm. Hmm, that's interesting. Brilliant black dental floss. Hmm, small bright pouch, a large bright pouch, and then bright socks. Ooh, I have another pair of socks I can wear to work. Um, and then there's a QR code that you can scan to read more articles. They actually do have some really interesting articles that are written by different dental hygienists and dental professionals. So. If you are a dental professional watching this video, I highly recommend going and reading those articles. I've actually read a lot of them. And then you can tag them apparently with hashtag DHNS4910 to be featured. Um, but maybe they'll see this YouTube video. So anyways, that explains all the really fun, beautiful, summery looking colors. So I'll actually go through and show you these items. A little air freshener. There's actually more than one in here. So there's a kind of a flower one that says floss more. And then on the back, there's one with the, the tongue sticking out like that. Um, so I think those are kind of cool that you can like hang them in your car or hang them in your house if you want to like brighten things up. I don't even do, I really want to know what these smell like. I feel like I do. I should like open one and just smell it if I can. Not really. It smells kind of florally. I don't want to fully open it and then have it like perforate the entire house if I don't want to smell my house up like completely like something I don't want it to smell like right now. Not like it would be bad, but... Why would I like waste it um, for anything else like that? But it, to me, it smells kind of florally, which would make sense considering that this is like a... There, we have another guest appearance by one of my fur babies. Say hello to Sam. He's 17 years old. He's a very old cat. Um, and he's very thin. He's probably about eight pounds. So say hello. Um, anyways, I'm thinking it's more of a florally themed thing just because they want like this bold and bright Christmassy kind of theme thing. So kind of cool hang them in your car hang them wherever I don't know but I like the floss more one because I would like love to give that to a patient who like doesn't floss and like put that in their car and so then every time they get in their car they're gonna be reminded to say floss more I don't know maybe I should give it to a patient should I like give it to a patient that like doesn't floss I don't know <laughs> I don't know people but let's move on to the next thing on this list. and it's a mouthy wine charm before I move on I wanted to mention too that this is another podcast I listen to is called A Tale of Two Hygienists. I know it's really hard to see with my ring light here. Um, they're great. I really like listening to them. There's, I think it's a male and a female hygienist. They basically talk about a variety of different things related to dental world and dental hygiene. So they have a little thing in here um, that you can subscribe to them. And so yes, these are actually, the next thing on the list is these little mouth wine charms. I wasn't sure like what in the world these were until I actually opened it up. But they're literally like these little... Things apparently that you can put in your wine. I don't know if it's, oh, I think you hang them on your glass for fun. So you kind of like set it on your glass. I don't know. I don't drink alcohol that often. So for me to like try to figure this out is really, really weird for me. So please excuse me that I don't drink enough alcohol and understand what this is about. But it looks like something you like seat on the wine glass itself and they kind of stick out. So it's obviously there's, looks like there's like one, two, three, four, five, six different colors. So like this is the yellow one. My, my lighting is terrible in here. So I apologize. 
I don't know if you guys can kind of see that. I try. There you go. That's a little bit better. There, you can kind of see it, and I'll just made my forearm really bright. But there's the yellow one. So then there's ones that are blue, pink, green, orange. It's kind of hard to tell, but that is an orange colored one, and then a light lavender purple. So these are kind of cute for like I don't know if you're partying with dental friends, but. Would I just stick these randomly on people's wine glasses at my house unless they were okay with it? Probably not, but kind of a cute little fun thing. This list is bl Brilliant Black Dental Floss with Bamboo Charcoal, eco-friendly, vegan, and mint. So this says, made with plant-derived ingredients to remove buildup for a toothbrush can reach, activated with charcoal's naturally occurring ionic changes, charges that cling onto plaque and tutter, leaving a whiter, brighter, more beautiful smile. Natural colors and flavors and coloring, vegan and cruelty-free. Um, so there's charcoal bamboo fiber in here that's activated vegan can candelilla 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 I cannot pronounce this word c a c a n d e l i l l a wax coconut oil and peppermint essential oil. The only thing that I'm a little nervous about is like I don't truly like if a patient wants to use charcoal based products it doesn't bother me. What worries me is if those charcoal pieces get stuck in the periodontal pocket or the gum tissue under the gum line where the tooth and the gum meet in those little pockets that we measure if they get kind of get stuck down there it can actually irritate the gums a little bit so i would just be very cautious and i actually kind of like how it literally is out here it's literally out so it's kind of in a little friendly box that can just be broken down and recycled instead of the typical plastic boxes that you get your dental floss in so i actually really like that about this and i wish that um, more companies would go to something that can be recycled and broken down a little more eco-friendly and that would explain why it's called eco-friendly floss um designed in california which doesn't surprise me um apparently it's cruelty free to animals which is awesome like i said the only thing that concerns me is like if you're using this floss is it gonna get stuck not so much i don't worry about it for patients who are healthy like myself with no active gum tissue disease but patients who have those deeper pockets and they're flossing more regularly or if they're trying to keep up on their home care, I would be nervous for them to use a charcoal floss just because in the event any of those particles break down, then it could irritate the gums. Um, that's, again, charcoal-based products are kind of a new thing in dental, just like laser use in dentistry. I'm actually trained to use a laser for deep cleanings under the gum line. I can do that, and I love using the laser. But it's kind of a new thing that as we learn more about it, I'm sure more evidence will come out about it. Actually, I went for an OSHA training today and we learned um, there's a new study that came out that COVID-19 is not as much of a pose of risk to dentistry as it used to be with proper PPE. And they're, they're now finding out that the aerosol production that used to think that aerosols would sit in the air and all the spray and spatter would sit in the air for two hours, it doesn't stay in the air as long anymore. And they're finding that when they were testing and putting Petri dishes in different rooms after a bunch of use of drills and hygiene equipments and cleanings and things like that um they were finding that the petri dishes were only filled with just some basic bacteria and water there was no virus particles found and if there was virus particles found it was not COVID 19. um if i remember correctly from that article but anyways as new research comes out i'm sure maybe my thoughts and opinions and what i know about this kind of stuff will change and again i try to do continuing education as i go through my career and I have to to keep my license so that would be the only thing that kind of scares me about charcoal based products not that they're not a bad thing but I worry about them getting stuck under the gum line if that makes sense so this video is not only turned into an unboxing video it's a what is Maddie's thoughts on dental charcoal uh, flavored floss here or gentle charcoal floss so anyways that is the third item in this There's box two pouches which are absolutely adorable so it's actually kind of based on the outside of the box so this large pouch has all the different things i was just reading to you guys this says i really like teeth um floss more say ah slay decay today toothy go to the dentist it's got all the really fun bright colors on here super cute um i also have another purple and white theme one i'll, t I'll insert a picture here i got for a dental hygiene month at my office um i got a couple of pairs of socks a scrub cap just some like cool basic things and then there's another tiny pouch that says floss more, say ah, save smiles off. And so it's kind of the similar thing, but it's a little bit more of a purple background, kind of an indigo blue, kind of a super cool color. So I got two new dental pouches that I can use along with the third one I got from my office for dental hygiene month. So now I've got all these really cool tooth pouches that I can keep things in at work. Um, I think right now I have a plain blue one for some personal items at work that I keep on my little um, kind of scrub rack at work. 
personal items for like um, like lotions, uh, hand sanitizer, wipes, and for you ladies, all the menstrual products that you may need <laughs> in a timely fashion. I keep those in there down away from everything up in the area where I work because you can't have any personal items in an area where you're doing anything dental related because it's a cross-contamination. It's actually a health hazard, a health violation, and it's an OSHA violation. And if OSHA were to come in, or OSHA were to be called and came into your office um, and they saw that, you could get a huge fine. Um, and these fines are thousands of dollars. So um, you got to keep all your personal products away. But anyways, I've got two really cute pouches, a large and a big one to use for whatever I wish for now. And so the final last thing on this list, it looks like bright socks. And they are adorable. So Dental Hygiene Nation recently changed their logo to kind of like this tooth with like almost like frosting on it. I don't know if it's supposed to represent like a... I don't know. It's, it's the color of dental hygiene, which is like a light purple. But um, the person who started Dental Hygiene Nation was a hygienist herself, I believe. I read the whole story, but I'm not going to reiterate the whole story or reiterate what I read because I'm sure I would screw something up. Um, but I think it's kind of cool that they put um, the new logo on there. So I actually want to open these and see what they're like because I have now... This is my fourth pair of dental themed socks. So now instead of wearing, for a while I was wearing like just little anklet socks in my shoes at work, but I got two pair for um, uh, dental hygiene month in October from my place of work as well as my friend gave me a pair that she had that she no longer uses. Um, she gave them to me and they're all tooth themed ones. So now I have a fourth one that I can add to wear to work. And I wear the, and the ones that I have at work are these longer ones, which are nicer because I'd rather have something cover my ankles a little bit more. Um, than just the anklets in the event that my scrub pants kind of rise up. I'm very tall and thin, so to me, for me to find scrub pants that fit me, I have to order small talls to pretty much cover everything. But these socks longer are super nice. But again, it's just kind of the same thing. Little rainbows, say ah, go to the dentist, you know, the tongue sticking out. Um, lots of flowers and teeth on here. So I'm bringing these to work next week, and these are going to be my Thursday socks. Um... So yeah, I'm super excited and now I can return my little anklets back home and now I have four pairs of cute dental socks to rotate through at work. Maybe I'll get more in the future. I don't care. Send me as many dental socks as you want my way. Um, but I've got a really unique pair from Dental Hygiene Nation and when you're on the subscription list, the boxes change every month and I know all their different products and various things they've sent have changed um, throughout the months that they've been doing it for the past couple of years. So this is probably their... 12th box if I had to guess so they did probably four in 2019 four in 2020 four in 2021 So um, and not every month they're gonna send socks So these are kind of and they don't really necessarily sell these things on their website sometimes they will but rarely um, So to kind of get these items is kind of a special thing So I'm kind of happy. I've got these really unique pair of cool dental socks um, that I can call my own So I'm probably the most excited for the socks if you can't tell Anyways, all these items are super cool. Can't wait to try the floss. I'll see how that kind of works um, and use the pouches for some things. And yeah, so this was my little unboxing from um, Dental Hygiene Nation for the winter theme month. So I guess stay tuned in March when I get my um, kind of my spring box and we'll see what kind of goes through there. I know I'm renewed for at least a year, so I'll get everything through this year. And then I'm not sure if they cycle people off and then put new people on. I don't know, but I was on the list for a long time. Either that or you can stay on the list, continuing that you continue to pay every four months or every three months, four times a year, excuse me, the $30. My assumption is maybe you can stay on that list um, and then maybe that they were just trying to expand their business a little bit more and expand space so that they had to put people on a list like myself who really wanted to get on. So as long as you pay, I guess it really doesn't matter. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this dental related video. I just thought, why don't I share what I get in this box? And so now I've got this really cool box and some really cool dental items to have. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please stay tuned for more diabetes and dental hygiene videos. I feel like it's dentistry and diabetes. Like, it's the two Ds with Maddie. Like, maybe I should change my channel name. Should I? I don't know. Um, but it's kind of funny because I follow two ADAs, the American Diabetes Association and the American Dental Association. So, I mean, how ironic, right? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this really crazy video. And again, stay tuned for more videos coming out. I really want to... It's been quite a while since I graduated, but I want to do my fourth semester and... 
I think because my video uh, previously have gone like over two hours of just me talking about what you go through, I'm going to maybe break my videos into three or four sections and kind of do each individual class as a section. And I also want to share my board's experience, the national written board for dental hygiene, as well as the clinical board, how that kind of went and uh, my experiences dealing with those. So those will be separate videos as well. So stay tuned. I'm going to try to break those apart so the videos don't end up ungodly long. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. I post as often as I can about diabetes plus more. Um, again, I hope you all are doing well, and I'm glad I was able to pop on here before the holidays. I may be able to pop on again. It is December 10th. I've got a nice long weekend. I don't have to work Monday. I normally only uh, work Monday through Thursday, which is nice. Um, today was Friday, so I had to kind of go in through do some training for a couple hours, but came home. And now it's apparently going to snow really bad for the weekend. So I'm all uh, settled in here. Maybe I'll do some more filming and maybe I'll be able to pop on here before um, Christmas. And then I hope to pop on here one more time before 2022 rolls around. But if I don't get a chance, please have a safe and happy and healthy holidays. And I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for following me. And Thank you for trusting me and being real and honest with you guys. And I, you have no idea how blessed I am. I am so close to 3,000 subscribers. I, like I said, it blows my mind every day I wake up and I think I have two of my greatest jobs are my reality. I'm a dental hygienist and I'm a YouTuber. So I get the realms of having a real job with a small business. So it's kind of cool that I get to do this for you guys and... Um, live my dream. So anyways, take care. God bless. Be kind, spread positivity, and be thankful. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you all. Bye.